See the game more clearly with high-definition spectacle lenses from Norville Opticians. That's uh, three defeats in the Premiership in a row. Uh, came to an end today. How pleased are you with that? Um, yeah, really pleased. Um, yeah, it was a big challenge coming away here because this team's been pretty. I mean, they have the ups and downs, but you know they've shown that they can play some uh, some rugby, look at Leicester away and, and things like that. So uh, it was a big, big, uh, big challenge for us today, and it's awesome to come away with a win. Yeah. I remember speaking to David in the week, and he described it as a critical game, and you could see how the season kind of was in the balance and how key this was to momentum. Yeah, definitely. The momentum was, uh, you know, that was a big aspect for that game. Coming away with that win just gives us a little bit of a foothold going forward. Obviously, two big games now into Europe and hopefully get us back up and uh, up and running in the Premiership with some more big games over Christmas time. What was it, what was it like out there? It looked pretty tough. Uh, first half wasn't too bad, obviously a few scrums, yeah. a lot of scrums, um, a lot of kicking as well. I think we were just sort of feeling each other out in that first half. It was felt a little bit like no one wanted to lose the game rather than no one, anyone wanted to win it. But um, you know, we, we came out in the second half, played some played some really good rugby, scored a couple of nice tries, and you know that that, that just gives us a foothold in the game. And um, you know, to not let them score and, and see out with, without them getting a bonus point was uh, was really good. It's kind of fair. Key moments of quality, wasn't it, that kind of proved the difference? Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, you know, it helps having Greg and Hooky back steering the ship like that for us. I thought our kick chase was a lot better than it was um, up in Newcastle. Work at the breakdown from 1 to 15 was exceptional, slowing the ball down and, and defence as well. So I think you know, it was a pretty rounded performance, lots to work on, obviously, heading into the next couple of weeks. But um, you say to get that win just gives us a, a little bit of confidence back in the squad and feels like we can build on it again. Showed a lot of character in that second half. Yeah, we did. Um, that defence at the end, we you know, we didn't want to concede a try, um, and also we didn't want to let them have that bonus point as well. Um, you know, we're not looking. You know, I know they're below us in the table. We're not looking down, but you know that's a big booster to not not concede any tries. You know, know that our defence is solid at the end there with you know with Savvy in the bin as well, which is an unlucky call. But um, yeah, that just gives us that confidence in our defence to really go at teams. How much did you enjoy personally? It's uh, man of the match today. It seems like the kind of game. You enjoy got stuck in at the breakdown. Yeah, it was good. Um, enjoyed it. I think, like I said, it was you know makes you know our defence was good. You know we were going, for, we, we made some really dominant hits, good go forward and you know, off the line right. and stuff like that, which you know, sort of supposed makes my job a little bit easier. But um, yeah, all in all, I was pretty pleased. Yeah, and David was saying just now that you carry on performing like that, and you'll be knocking on the door for a place in the England kind of match day squads. I mean, how pleasing is it to hear something like yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's always nice to be sort of spoke of like that, but I know now it's just about backing performances up really, rather than uh, thinking about that sort of stuff. Obviously, I'm out of the mix at the moment, but if I can, if I can keep playing and playing well, then um, hopefully be be knocking on the door soon. But at the moment, just try and back up a performance like that. Yeah, where do you gauge your performances at the moment? Is there more to come from you, or do you feel you're hitting your straps now? Uh, no, definitely more to come. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, I just think with the coaches we've got here, I'll just hopefully keep improving. And you know, I think you've shown, I think you've shown over the last couple of weeks, not just myself, but but boys are still improving. We, you know, we're gonna we're gonna peak and trough as the season goes on with with the new coaches, boys dropping in and out for internationals as well. So you know, as a squad, I think there's a lot of learning, a lot of improving to do. But um, you know, it's exciting times. It'd be nice to get Ben next to you next week. Yeah, no, I thought, well, yeah, absolutely. I thought he was excellent against um, yeah. the Aussies on the weekend, two tries. But, you know, that's Gaz's first start back, I think. And he was um, he was awesome, played really, really well today, carried well, good go forward. So, um, you know, there's a lot of competition for this back row in the, in the Glossop squad. And that's what yeah. we need as a squad. You know, that's what, you know, if we're pushing each other for places, we're pushing each other and proving each other all the time in training. So, you know, it's, um, it's excellent.